I'm Michelle Barada here with a really fun and easy do-it-yourself. I'm going to show you how to make a necklace out of a t-shirt. Yep, I said t-shirt. So I'm going to show you a couple variations of the way you can wear your t-shirt necklace. You can wear it long or you can take some sections and wrap it around and make it kind of a more layered look or you can make it even more layered and make it into kind of like a cool kind of um, stylish collar and it looks really good with a blazer or you know with a like a jean jacket it's very easy all you need for this project is an old t-shirt and a pair of scissors that's it now let's get started Hi guys, all right, we are gonna get started on this very cool project. Now, what you need is a t-shirt, okay, any old t-shirt. These were ones I was gonna give away. Um, but the most important thing you need to know about your t-shirt is, I'm gonna show you a difference. You want like a cotton t-shirt. You can use your, you know, your husband probably has old t-shirts too. You do not want a rib. Can you see the rib in there? It's kind of like a rib because this will not curl, okay? You won't get this effect when you're pulling it. It's not gonna curl, all right? So, you, so remember, no rib, okay, no rib. You want one like this, see? It does not have a, a rib. It's kind of like just a cotton t-shirt, all right? So we are going to get started. I'm gonna use this red one, all right? So you're gonna take your t-shirt and you can use any t-shirt. You can use, this one happens to be a, a fitted t-shirt, which you don't need to do that. You could just use your, you know, your husband's old t-shirt, whatever. Okay, and you're gonna cut right under the armpit. Go straight across. You don't have to be perfect in your cutting either, okay? All right. Then you wanna cut this end. See, there's a seam here. You don't need that, so you're gonna cut that. Now, you're gonna cut about an inch apart all the way across, and you're gonna do that up to the top and leave it about an inch. You do that all the way. I'm trying to do this fast for you. Get that one more cut, and we are ready. Okay, so now you have this little cute little grass skirt. Isn't that cute? I'm gonna sit back up here. Okay, you do not need the top of your shirt. Put that to the side. Now what you're going to do is you're going to start at one end and you are going to take your loops and pull. Okay? And see how they curl up? You're going to do that all the way around. Okay? Just take it. Okay. When you're done, you have something that looks like this. Isn't that cool? Okay. So now what you're going to do is you're going to turn it sideways and you're just going to start grabbing it from the other end, right through the tube, the top of the tube. And so you're gonna have, it's gonna look like that, okay? You can stretch it more if you want. Then you're gonna take some ribbon, let's see, I have some red velvet, I think I'm just gonna use the red velvet. I'm gonna cut a piece of that. And you're gonna take that part, of this part, the part right here, that where where you um the top where you left the inch and you are going to tie right here and kind of wrap it around a couple times right. just tie it doesn't have to be anything fancy all right there you go all right I'm back I'm such a loser, I totally just realized. It's October here in San Diego, except it's like 106 outside, so I was wearing a tank top, and I realized, or Andy, my husband behind the camera, he's like, you know, you're putting on a scarf, and you're wearing a tank top, it doesn't really work that way. So, I put on a sweater so we can have the illusion, even though I may be sweating at this time. So, let's pretend that it's nice and fallish right now, so you see you can wear it with a sweater. Um, I like it like this, so 
if I twist the whole thing. This is the way I like it. I think it's very cool. It's very anthropology-ish. Is that a word? Like, isn't that cool looking? It's cool. I love it. All right. I hope you guys have fun with this project. Uh, subscribe. Write a comment. If you did this, let me know. Tell me how it turned out. And until next time.